Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenez the Human, and welcome to this special Games Guy edition of Medieval 2 Total War, where today we look at how to increase the unit scale of the game to about as big as we can possibly manage it. We've got ourselves units of 250 here, and that's pretty much what the game will allow you to do. It's a pretty simple bit of modding, so uh, if you want this sort of huge scale carnage with potentially, well, what was originally 250 SARS Guard, then, well, let's get into the game files. Let's figure out how we can increase the madness. For this video today, I'm only going to change the Russian and English armies from the late era, as you can see listed on the right there. This is because I'm going to have to change each and every individual unit, and I don't plan on doing that for everything in the game. If you want to do that, that is absolutely fine. It is not complicated, it would just be tedious and a little time consuming. So for my example, I'm just going to stick with these two factions from this era. It should be able to show everything that you need to see to do this yourself. Obviously, you can either change everything or just a few select units here or there. As with any mod in Medieval 2 Total War, we do need to unpack the files first and of course change the preference file here to make sure all of our changes stick. If you need to do that, I do have a guide on that. There is a link in the description below. The file we need is inside the data folder, so once inside we're going to scroll almost the entire way down until we find export underscore desk underscore unit. Now if you want to do this on one of the expansions instead, then you need to of course unpack those first, but those are inside the mods folder here. From there you can simply follow the same path to find the same equivalent file, right here near the bottom. So back inside the main game into data. Near the bottom then, we're going to head inside export desk unit. Once inside the file then, we can head down to whichever unit we're going to change and I'm going to start off by searching for the woodsman. Now we can see here we've got our woodsman, but you need to know exactly which section of this information to change. Luckily the top of the file gives us all the information we need and all we need to change today is this bit here, the line about soldier. So if we go back at the top, it tells us what that means. So the first thing is the name of the model to use, simple enough, we're not going to change that. What we do to change though is the following number, the number of ordinary soldiers in the unit. The only other thing we might need to consider though is this part here, the number of extras. So for example, if we are going to use an artillery piece, we're going to need to add maybe some extras if we increase the numbers. So let's go down to the woodsman and let's change what we need to. So here's my first example. We have ourselves the woodsman, the soldier number here of 48. Now that's on the normal unit size. This will get scaled up. If we're on huge, this will be 2.5 times the size of number we choose. So we're going to pick 100. It can't be any higher than that. That is the hard coded number, which means that 250 men in a unit is as big as we can get. So that is simply all we need to change here. Example two are the Cossack Cavalry, and these lads have themselves 32 men per unit. Now, of course, we could make this 100, but if the infantrymen can only get up to 100, we should probably make the cav just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to give them the number of 70 there. Our final example is the Eastern European Cannon, which starts off with only 16 men. So we're going to double that immediately, but of course we do need to change the second number here, which is the amount of cannons. There's no point of having 32 men with only two cannons, so we're going to make that a bit more. We're going to raise that up to five. Marvellous, but you might just be wondering how many cannons can I have, Thomas? Well, I've tried, but when I went up to 20 or 30 cannons, the game was not happy at all. It did accept 10, though, so not sure the exact number, presumably somewhere between 10 and 20, but 10 cannons did work, albeit the balance of the units by that point is probably a little bit silly. Nonetheless, it's possible to get as high as 10. I'm going to keep it down here at 5 for the time being. Here we are back inside Medieval 2 then, and of course we do need to check the options first thing, just to make sure that we've got our unit scale onto huge. So, with that done then, we're going to head back onto single player, into the custom battle, and I'm going to select the late era because I've only actually changed the units for this particular era, because I'm not a complete madman. However, 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 we're going to have the Russians and the English, both of which I have changed their forces to be ready and set up for this madness. So 
what do we have then? Most of these infantry then have themselves 250 apart from these guys. We obviously typed the wrong number for. And then the SARS guard, I did give them 250 just to show that we could get the cavalry up to that number if that's what we wish to do. So we've got ourselves a nice selection here. We're just going to give ourselves a little bit of everything for the battle. Marvellous. And the same with the English. I think I've actually got these right. Yeah, apparently it's not too happy, but we're going to uh, carry on in spite of the game's warning there. Obviously, it is worth bearing in mind, as an old game, you might have some problems running it, but we'll see how this all goes. So, with all of this set up then, let's head into battle. Into battle then, and look at the ludicrous size of this cavalry unit. If you want them to be this big, then that's as big as they can be. Okay, let's get those guys into a line of four. That'd be beautiful. Now, 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 now. Obviously, we set this up earlier to have ourselves our five cannons with 32 men. You can see those are all lined up over here. We'll get them shooting away. But you might have noticed there's quite a lot of these other cannons. Yes, the basilisk, basilisk over here I set to have all ten of them. So there we are, the full line of uh, mentalist artilleries. Okay. They are into position, and um, as you can see, the, the scale is much bigger, isn't it? This is, well, I suppose we've got double the normal sort of size units for most of the infantry here. Uh, double the size if you'd be on huge anyway. So, let's say overall, it's quite, what are these guys doing? I don't know, but they decided to, to do their own thing, because apparently musket musketeers, I really need to do, I need to do a video about uh, musketeers and archers and these kind of units, because they do some very strange things. We're looking to fix in those in good time, don't you worry. And these lads are going to charge into the retinue longbowmen who are kind of madly standing out here all by themselves with 250 of the SARS guard to come in and cause all of the problems in the world. This is an absolute sea of cav. Okay, I would probably keep the cav numbers down a little bit, but you know, if you want huge scales, well, it, it's running fine. It's happy with the 10 cannons. I, I would suggest though, the game doesn't like siege equipment as it is, particularly taking on a town. It does slow the game down quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, a few units like this will probably be a bit much. And this is very, very overpowered. It's going to start to turn to Empire where it's just... <laughs> oh, yes, I wasn't expecting that. That is glorious, my good sir. Now, um, anyway, since my cab can probably pretty much slaughter the entire army as they are... Uh, of course, the SARS guards. I think you get the point. This, um, this certainly is a bigger scale, and it's a fairly simple, if slightly fiddly way to do it. Certainly, if you're going to set this up for everyone. But for now, I will, uh, I will leave you. Do leave any suggestions in the comments below to future videos if you have any suggestions. Um, having thought about it, yeah, these guys. I think we need to do a little video on these chaps very very soon indeed but for now i'll leave you i'm thomas this is tenors the human and this has been a little games guide to medieval 2 total war and uh what have we done oh yeah unit scales yeah massive unit scale there we are thank you and goodbye have you heard the good news my friends here's the good news it's the pope has the pope ever done as badly as i'm doing as the pope right now god only knows god only knows. Down goes the spoon of destiny. And there he goes. It took every last bolt we had.